Then, a denial designed to sound as forceful as possible while saying as little as possible. I want you to know directly from me that I never touched anyone inappropriately or made inappropriate sexual advances. The New York State Attorney General has conducted an independent, thorough, and professional investigation that found the governor violated state and federal law. No elected official is above the law. The people of New York deserve better leadership in the governor's office. We continue to believe that the governor should resign. Yes. Well, on that front, I mean, did you watch the governor's statement? Clearly, he didn't resign. So, what is your reaction to that? I continue to believe the governor should resign. Well, yes. Uh, next. Even if he doesn't, should the legislature impeach him and then remove him from office? As I said, I continue to believe the governor should resign. Yes. What's your personal relationship going to be with him going forward? Forward, and we still work and deal with him. As I said, I continue to believe that he should resign. Do you think he should be prosecuted? And what is your message to the women who have now accused him of sexually harassing them and abusing them? Look, what I said was, if the investigation of the Attorney General concluded that the allegations were correct, that back in March, that I would recommend he resign. That's what I'm doing today. I've not read the report. I don't know the detail of it. All I know is the end result. I did not have sexual relations with that woman.